Hi everybody, welcome to the Messy Cook by Dale. Thanks so much for joining me today and thanks again for all your support and all your recipe ideas. Today we're going to be doing leftovers. This is leftover turkey pot pie. Now over the holidays I generally make a turkey and I always have leftovers and I'm always looking for different ways to serve them the next day or a couple of days later. There's hot turkey sandwiches, there's turkey sandwiches and turkey pot pie. So that's what we're going to do today. It's pretty easy. Um, you have all the ingredients and it, and it uses your leftover potatoes. It uses your leftover vegetables, so it's fantastic. And gravy. All right, so what we're going to do first and what I've done here is in four tablespoons of butter, I put a half a cup each of uh, carrots, celery and onion and about four ounces, which is about half of a package of uh, sliced mushrooms. And I let them cook down a little bit and get soft, not brown. Okay, so that's done. Next, we're going to add the turkey. So what I've done is I cut up my turkey into bite-sized pieces, uh, sort of, kind of. It'll break up as I put them in. And uh, you use the dark meat and the, uh, and the white meat, whatever it is you have left over. That goes in there. All right. Next, we're going to add the, uh, cook the vegetables, just the turkey seasons. Okay, I'm gonna put the turkey in, and I did. Just trying to get everything together here. There's the turkey. Okay, so before we season with salt and pepper, I wanna put the, the gravy. So I've got about a one and a half cups of gravy that I made. Now, if you don't have any leftover gravy, no worries. You can, uh, there's a recipe that I'm putting underneath with just uh, turkey stock or chicken stock, vegetable stock, and flour and some uh, seasoning. So you don't have to worry if you don't have any of this. So that goes in there. So I've got it on low heat right now because I don't want anything burning. So there we have it. Now, if, if the gravy is a little bit thick, I'm going to see after this go, uh, cooks for a bit. If it's a little bit thick, then you just add uh, more chicken stock, turkey stock, vegetable stock, or just water, which is what I have. Okay, there we go. Next thing we do is the salt and pepper. Not too much because, you know, you salted your turkey and you, uh, the butter, I use salted butter. So don't want to do too much. There we have it going to be really delicious okay um, next we're going to put in uh, the gravy I did uh, sorry 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 leftover vegetables so I've got peas and carrot uh, sorry peas and corn here you can use peas and carrots you can use whatever it is that you have left over um, if you have no leftover vegetables you can use frozen no big deal put in about what did they say about half a cup uh, or a cup of yeah cup sorry a cup of leftover vegetables look at this this on bread or toast is delicious see i'm going to maybe have to put a little maybe not we'll see about the water okay next are potatoes now i mash my potatoes but when i was making my potatoes for the holidays i realized i made too many and i didn't want to have all this mashed over um, uh, mashed potatoes left over so i took the others and I put them in a bowl and that's what we're going to use. So you sort of cut up your potatoes into bite-sized pieces and uh, you've got your potatoes. So this is a one meal in one. It's fantastic. By the way, I forgot to mention that you'll want to heat to preheat your oven at uh, 350 Fahrenheit uh, beforehand. So it's ready to go. All right. Next, what's next? Let me make sure I have everything. A thyme, now we're good, thyme. You can use fresh thyme, I didn't have any, I have dried. So fresh thyme you wanna do um, one, what is it, a half a teaspoon of fresh thyme or a quarter of a teaspoon of dried thyme. And I'm just gonna eyeball it. Put that in there, like that, okay. So let me turn this up a bit, get it going. I mean, <laughs> it looks delicious. Hey Dan, we're gonna to have to share this. Eh? We're gonna have a lot left over here. And I've got more turkey in the fridge, if you can believe it. So we're gonna be having turkey for the next few days. But that's okay, we love turkey. And again, um, there's all, you know, toasted turkey sandwiches, hot turkey sandwiches, uh, this. Casey will help us too. Casey will definitely help us. He will love this. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there, just a tad. All right. 
So everything is cooked. So it's all, all you're going to do when you put it in the oven is cook the pie crust. And you're going to get a single pie crust because uh, this goes into a casserole and it's just one crust on top. You can do a two pie crust um, casserole as well if you want, but I do one. Um, you can make your own pie crust. The recipe is there. Um, I, I'll put it up here for you. Uh, but I bought a frozen one, a Pillsbury uh, crust. It's only, uh, it's easy and I didn't feel like making my own and it's just as good. So I'm gonna spray a casserole dish just to make sure nothing sticks. This is up to a boil. You see, it doesn't take very long. I mean, the longest part of this is the chopping up and the, uh, the stuff in the, um, the oven. Okay, I don't have a spoon. Big spoon. Big spoon. Sorry. Dan says, are you sure you have everything? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna shake the camera. Shake the camera. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you so much. Oh, I always forget something. Okay, so now this comes goes off. This goes in here. This looks so delicious. So what you want to do is fill this up, but you don't want it overflowing because it, it can and probably will uh, seep over in this in the uh, in the uh, oven. And I'm going to actually put this on a pie plate or a uh, sorry a cookie sheet uh, just to make sure I don't get my oven all dirtied up. I mean, this is comfort food like you've never had. It's got everything in it. And what's great about it is um, you're using up all your leftovers. Oh, this is heavy, this thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Now, you can put it in any, any kind of casserole you want, a deep dish um, uh, pie plate, if you like. Okay. Now comes the, the um, crust. Now what I did is I defrosted the Pillsbury crust. I rolled it out even more so, and then I put it on here on my rolling pin, and I'm just going to put that on top. Pretty easy. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck these in like this rather than have them over the side. It's like that. It's rustic, but that's how it's supposed to be. It's rustic. It's supposed to be home cooking at its best. There we go. Looks good, eh, Dan? So you know, what you want to do is you want to put some slits in it so we get the air, the steam comes out of it. So I'm just going to put uh, some V's in here. Not perfect, but good enough. You're gonna get take an egg wash, one egg with a tablespoon of water, and you're going to uh, mix it up like that. And you're gonna wash the top of this so it gets nice and uh, shiny and crispy and nice. I mean, that didn't take very long. Like I said, the longest part is cutting up the vegetables or the um, the Holy Trinity, which is the carrots, onion, and celery. And uh, the rest is already made for you. You can even use canned peas. You don't have to use frozen ones. So whatever you have left over is good. Okay. And uh, let me put my mess out of the way here. And there you have it. Look how beautiful. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of salt on the top and a little bit of thyme too, just so it looks pretty. There, let's get a picture of this. Beautiful, okay, so I am going to pop this in the oven for about 30, 25, 30, 35 minutes. You know your oven in the middle rack. Uh, when the crust is nice and brown, 
it's done because like I said, all the vegetables are already cooked. So it's just really just getting the crust done. All right, so we'll see you back here in about 40 minutes or so. Thanks, see you later. Hi everybody, welcome back. Here's our leftover turkey pot pie. Um, I have to tell you, I'm going to say that it was in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes. So you know your oven. I just waited till the crust was nice and crisp, crispy like this and it was bubbling and it, uh, it was done. So it was, it was about 45 minutes. Um, I just want to let you know that we use gravy for this recipe, but if you don't have any gravy and you don't want to make your own with the recipe I put underneath, you can do a white sauce as well. A lot of pot pies are, are, are made that way with a bechamel sauce and there's um, recipes for that. You make a nice bechamel and you put salt and pepper in it and you add all the rest of the ingredients and it turns out wonderful. All right, let's give it a try. So you want, when you take it out of the oven, you don't want to serve it right away. You want to wait about 10 or 15 minutes um so that the pie sort of uh, the uh, pot pie sort of settles down a little bit because it's screaming hot and it's bubbling and uh oh look at this oh it's hot yum <laughs> i'm so glad i get to try this first now look at that absolutely beautiful okay i'm gonna give it a try first of all cheers happy holidays mm. good one all right let's give it a try delicious absolutely delicious oh it'll warm your body and your soul anyway Hope you try this with your leftovers. You can use chicken. It doesn't have to be uh, turkey. And of course, you can always use uh, rotisserie chicken. You can get a rotisserie chicken and make this as well. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you're all doing well. Um, be safe. Do what you have to do. Um, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and spread the word. I really appreciate that. And um, forget the mess. Cheers. Enjoy your leftover turkey pot pie. Cheers.